then now doing the job becomes another problem it's like immediately you said something there automatically you started working there because every day you have to go there and follow up otherwise they won't do it what kind of attitude is that and it's not like they are doing it for free Papa Neo, Bonico, Papa Neo, Bonico, Hi, lovely people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl of Rewa Dudu here. Currently, I'm going to the Wager Mall, Wet Hills Mall. I was contemplating between that one and Accra Mall, but <laughs> considering there's traffic everywhere and I'm in the middle of Accra, I think I'll go to Wager because I also have some few things to do around there. I got a gift card from ShopRite, so I'm going to pick items i want to do a little charity so instead of keeping the items i'm going to pick them up i have some few people in mind and then i'll give it to them so that's what i'm going to do right now so let's go to shop right and we'll see how much is on the card i don't know i think it's 300 cities i'm not sure but yeah i think i can get quite a lot with that amount so Let's go. A few moments later. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I went to buy Kelly Willy and Giza. It's called For the Road. Is this Kelly Willy on my junction here? I can't resist it. Guys, we need to talk about artisans and skilled workers in Ghana. Seriously. It's becoming unbecoming. So what at all can you do for these people to do their jobs? Can someone help me? You take your car to the mechanic. First of all, he will frustrate you if you try to go and buy the things by yourself. If he tells you something is bought, you just have to ask him how much and bargain with him. Now, poor home with you, and you decide that no, I'm going to buy it myself. They will frustrate you. You can go to Abutu Kai hundred times, buy the correct thing, bring it. They will tell you that it's not the right one, it's not working. So, you have to give them the money, and they will prize you, they will give you whatever price they want according to your bargaining power. You pay what you can pay, you give them the money, and they still will not fix it for you. Just buy it. You pay whatever they ask for and still they will not do the work for you. So what do we do to these people? Mm -hmm. They will say for please tell me. I've given up on these people, seriously. The mechanic, the same stress, the tailor. As for the tailors they, they can give you heart attack cry. It's another case for another day. I don't know. Artisans in Ghana. Hey, you see your soul. They will charge you. You will pay the amount. Then now doing the job becomes another problem. It's like immediately you send something there, automatically you've started working there because every day you have to go there and follow up. Otherwise, they won't do it. What kind of attitude is that? And it's not like they are doing it for free. Seriously. I'm on the Abeka Road. The traffic is terrible. Ghana and traffic. It's like hell and fire.
Charlie, I'm here. And the way people are trooping in me, eh? that's one thing I do not like about this place. I seriously forgot about that. Sometimes the place can be very, very packed. The rest is more. And I have a feeling it will be because I'm seeing a lot of people coming. And the way there's a lot of traffic on this road. Anyway, we are already here. It's too late to do anything. I'll just have to go and get the stuff as quick as I can and get out of that place. Okay, I'm just hoping I'm wrong. But <laughs> I doubt. We are ready. Let's go. Guys, can you hear the noise? It's as if I'm walking into a boarding school. Guys, I'm back home. I'm sweating. Guys, there are things happening in this mall room. <laughs> the things I have seen this afternoon. Eh? Hey, I saw more by force. I just chanced on this lady. I don't know. My camera was just facing now. And coincidentally, it caught something on camera. God, I can't laugh alone. Please let's laugh together. So if judgment day God asks me, He will ask you too. <laughs> I often met a colleague here. See 
who I met. Anna, say hi. Hi. The last time I did a vlog in your office, I didn't come to your office. Oh, okay. It was two days ago. Hi. The gift voucher was um, 300 students. But obviously, I spent more and I didn't even plan to spend at all. I said I was going to stay within the budget, but then there's something I would have to do regardless. So the earlier I do it, the better for me. Currently, it's 5 p.m. The plan was to do some few rounds in Casa before I go back. But looking at the time, if I try, that means I'm going to sleep on this road. So I have this driver that runs errands for me sometimes. He's coming to pick the things up and he will do the deliveries for me. He's also part of the people that I really want to give stuff to because I've used him prior. Okay, even during the pandemic, um, I was selling some nose masks, okay? And this guy single-handedly sold, if I'm not lying, like 50 packs. And he was selling it on the road. He's a taxi driver. So he was telling me that he sells it to the hawkers on the street. Actually, he gives he gives it to them on credit. Then when he's coming back, he takes the money from, from them. My guy at the time imported the nose mats when the whole pandemic was new and you know everybody was caught. I think it was around the lockdown. Okay, so at the time the demand was high, so the prices were a bit up, and people were now finding means and ways to ship things from China and he imported them from China. So the cost involved was very high, but then after some time. It's like the max started coming in i think after may okay so um you know Ghanaians, they will tell you oh i'll buy or we will buy you bring them you bring it to you to bring plenty and now the thing was not going as usual so we were trying to find ways to help him sell and all those things and this driver sold about 50 or so pieces so he's a serious guy I really like him so currently so right now I'm just waiting for him to come then I'll give him instructions as to who to give what to and then I'll go back home pretty girl swag height kakra motors kakra hips kakra everything so kakra Mama kakra, brenya kakra. God, every day. Guys, I had to wait for like one good hour. He's here now. Pesi pato wahaya. So onche, ana obeche obeli. Oh, no, I'm afraid to see my mommy. Why? Me the number, be sure. I'll put the number in the, the description box. And here, so if you need a taxi and around wager, Kaswa and Winnie Bowood, yes, that area. Call him. I'm vouching for him. Oh, if there's any problem, call me. He's very, 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 very good. He's a serious guy. And I'm a boy. Okay. okay. Yeah. So guys, I'm back home now. It's currently 8.35 and I would want to bring this vlog to an end. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching the video to end. Do well to meet me here same time next week. Makram. Darcy.
Bye bye. And Merry Merry Christmas. Afisha Pao. I think I said, Nanya Mia, you are home as well, dear Nina. Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. I'll see you. Bye bye.